Fat Joe uh, claims he allegedly stuck up 70 plus people in the school gymnasium in high school. What were you like in high school? Terrible. I once robbed my whole gym. 70 like, kids robbed them, not, robbed them? without a gun. Like, yo, everybody give me your coats, give me your Walkmans, give me your this. So you believe that he robbed 70 niggas in the gym? In the Bronx. No, In sir. the 80s. No, sir. 70 niggas just like no, him. Sir. No, sir. Uh, sad news in Atlanta when Anita Baker decided to cancel her Mother's Day concert minutes before showtime, pissing off everybody. Anita ball-headed ass. He stopped the song to tell her fans not to sing the song and why you got the camera up here. What? Turn off the camera, baby. I don't know who you are. Move back. Get him back. I don't know who you is. She the mean aunt. Yeah. Oh, she the mean mean aunt. She the mean aunt. You know you got the mean aunt, that one mean the one aunt that, that can't you, cook yeah. but you scared she to tell her. She's mean as just mean for no reason. She the mean aunt. She's the one that said, "Get your ass in the house letting all that cool air." <laughs> That's the mean aunt. aunt. I know we all know how dangerous uh, Jonathan Majors is, the way he was running in that New York traffic away from that white one. The way he dipped and dodged, boy. Hell yeah, boy. You might see that nigga in the Olympics in Paris. He has to complete a 52-week in-person batterer's intervention program in L.A. So they're going to be like asking him, why did you run from that white woman? Could you have run faster? Yeah, could you have ran faster? Why did you dip between this car and that car? Oh, what if one of the psychiatrists is Umar Johnson and he got to talk to him? Like, my brother, you couldn't have found a black woman to chase you in traffic like that? <laughs> All right, Family Matters star, oh. Darius McCrary, <laughs> a.k.a. Eddie Winslow, <laughs> was being featured in a steamy OnlyFans <laughs> clip with trans model Sydney Starr. Turn People just got to understand, Eddie is a deviant. He I'm not a sexual that. deviant. I'm I mean, they, that. that's the title. A pansexual, that means they they will involve that, themselves. It, I don't like that word. He's well, just gay. That's he not fucks gay. Niggas. That's, the title is pansexual. <laughs> so every year, they rebrand homosexuality. Yeah. Janelle Monet was the first first person I heard that word pansexual. We thought it was cute because she was a woman. And woman. She was cute. Like, now oh, niggas yeah, is, that's that, now we like oh, uh, Wayne there. Brady. Nah. I thought it was funny that there's this rumor of Carl Winslow going out and Eddie is being a fucking deviant and the thing that broke the internet was Urkel marrying a white woman. So did you hear about Dwight Howard? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I heard about his um uh... So he walked up to this white guy and was like, <laughs> yeah, I read my pussy's shenanigans. mad pink and my booty hole's brown. <laughs> <laughs> Howard said he engaged in consensual sexual activity with a nigga named Stephen Harper. <laughs> yeah, why you got to say it like that? Well, why I mean, gotta... he's white. There's a new um, AI photo app that came out. Ramini. Uh, people have been paying apparently $10 to see what they'd look like if they were happy. And... <laughs> But you ain't lying, <laughs> This is pretty bad. Yeah. Dude, All right. My lashes. <laughs> what if you already got a mom and she, you, you, she's looking at AI babies and she got a real baby in front of her? But they just got an ugly baby and they're looking at the new baby, the AI baby. Like, damn, that's what my baby could look like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yo, you got real kids and you looking at fake kids. I'm crying, but no. Really. That's wrong. Oh my God. Women are going too far with this app, yo. Oh I'm really getting tired of this, like, drumless hip-hop. It's really aggravating me. You're giving me a whole Lazy album. vibe. It's, it's, it's yeah, a lazy it's vibe. a lazy vibe. I remember making drumless beats. They were called beats I was going to get back to later. <laughs> That's what my drumless beats were. So Tasha K had Brother Bilal, Will Smith's uh, bussy finding assistant, former assistant on the show. Please. Allegedly, Will Smith and Dwayne Martin together smashing. And Will would be over. I don't believe First this. First of all, I don't believe it. And who are all these reckless gay men leaving the doors unlocked? You would probably think you want the door locked so nobody walk in and see that. I'm just saying, common <laughs> sense wise. Like, yeah, like, hey, I'm about to do some weirdo <laughs> shit. Let me make sure the door is locked so like, nobody can walk in. Like, I really would at least make sure the door is locked before I do some yeah. off the wall shit. Even if you were a chick, you still, still don't make sure the door is locked. Just any sex act, you do 
not want people walking in on. You're going to make sure the door is locked. The, the I ain't going to lie. Even um, if it's just us two in the house, we shut the door, it's going to get locked. Like, 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 That's like, what I'm like, saying. Like, you still go a man visiting Charlotte from Mississippi and staying at a hotel in Uptown says another man got into his room and sexually assaulted him. He, this happened at the Charlotte Marriott Center, <laughs> city like, center. The man said he woke up to an assailant sexually assaulting him without his consent. The suit said he howled at terror. <laughs> and that nigga who did it looks every bit of a nigga who would do something like that, too. I would hate to look like a nigga who would do something I like know. that. No. Nigga, you look at... You, I don't want that look. Nigga, you look at his mugshot and you just go guilty. That nigga did oh. that shit. The former prison guard discussing being in uh, Rikers. I just, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, yes. Why is he dressed like that, though? He's out of like know. a pimp. Yeah. Like, 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 why is he dressed it, like that? No, like, am I the only you're, one? Okay. You're working. Right, go ahead. You're, I'm you sorry. say you worked at Rikers and <laughs> stuff like that, but why are you dressed like that? Dressed like okay. he's going to the player haters ball. <laughs> go ahead. With Dave go Chappelle ahead, and Ashley Larry. When I walked in that jail for the first time, mm. you know what I smelled? I smelled butt ass. But ass. everybody does. And he was it with straight yeah, emphasis. Was, but everybody, everybody that. doesn't wash the same. And then the nigga just started tearing. You, you just see tears rolling down his eyes. The smell was so bad. He said, "Yeah, his both eyes were looking in the same direction before he started working there. The smell was so bad it turned one of his eyes to lazy." And then he got the Biggie Smalls eye now from working Wait, in the prison. So you nigga was dressed like uh, Biggie from the uh, vibe cover with Faith. <laughs> That's how he was dressed. Oh, while we're on talking about me, has anybody seen the updated pictures of Jaheen? Yeah. Floating around. Oh, with like, um, the Predator with no, his no, hair missing. Yeah, and the oh. uncle from Medea that was in the wheelchair. Remember that one? Yeah, like... Yeah, he looking, he, he looking. Is it just normal aging or is it something wrong with him? I think so. He just, he it's probably out. normal aging and he just ain't let the dreads go yet or yeah. braids go yet. Yeah, they sit right around the edges. <laughs> Caitlin Clark and her team, the Indiana Fever, are off to a what, 04 start? 05. 05. 05. 05. Yeah. Yeah. Dub and put this article in the um, group chat about people saying she because she was white and it was pretty privileged and i was like no that was uh sunny Hostin of the view what? she said caitlin clark was a product of the white media and pretty privileged now sunny needs some goddamn glasses right, with that second comment brian mcknight calling his children sins with that being said nico one of uh, brian mcknight's kids decided to verbally go on a tirade against uh, uh tyrese for just Giving that advice to uh, Ricky Smiley, uh, <laughs> Nico said, Tyrese used to sleep under our pool table when I was a kid, said Nico. <laughs> I have no idea why he decided to bring that up in his rant, but I thought that was kind of funny. Probably caught him when he was drunk. What it is, is Brian McKnight is petty as fuck, and his children are petty as fuck, because they I were raised was... by a father that was petty as fuck, so everybody's, everybody's being petty right now. That's why he went on live first to even say that shit, which was some stupid shit for him to say. It's not that I disagree, because I don't know what went on. Yeah, I don't Kids know can shit. do some shit that'll exactly. make them say, fuck I, them. I'm about to say, they can, we don't know. They don't can probably be some disrespectful but, motherfuckers. Y'all didn't see the Jeezy Nia Long interview, did you? No, okay, he was just discussing his life and his low points, and then I felt really bad, because there was this point where he was telling Nia Long when he was famous at his lowest point, and he was saying he was drinking champagne every day, uh, you know, drinking heavily in the alcohol. He was eating Waffle House and all this bad shit. And he was saying he was at his heaviest at 260 pounds. And that's when I felt bad because that's my end goal weight currently. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> You're working the way. Yeah, I'm like, damn, Jeezy was a raging alcoholic and he was healthier than me. And I've been eating vegetables the past couple months. We had Ja Rule getting banned from the UK. Did you hear about that? These old school acts. The ones that we don't, that we should. Love like we, we should. They do. I know Japan is like that too. So that means they're like singing the Ja Rule in the UK accent. Correct. Where will I be without my governor? <laughs>
Yeah. You know what bothers me about English rappers? They don't bust their guns. It's just so proper the way they talk. Like you gotta have a hard time I taking will this run serious. Up on you <laughs> like, with bust the, up, it, 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 it. Yes, I will run up on you with the razor. I will empty your knickers. <laughs> they, call, they, they call pants Snickers. Halle Berry get ready to pay oh, yeah. another white guy some money. Oh, yeah. This is what happens when you date down. Halle Berry been in and out the ring for a minute since David Justice. But see, that's the disparity. This see see Justice what you had days. to do to be black to get to Halle Berry? You had to be in the major leagues. You had to have an established R&B career. You had to be an established actor. But to get it as a white man, you just have to be white. That's it. Okay, so from one father to the next. Gary Owens was on Club Shay Shay. He was telling the story of how he went to Greensboro. Hey, do you know if his daughter went to A&T or UNCG? Do you know? Because he said he... Because uh, both schools are in the borough. We, we know it's just yeah. one of those two. She didn't go to Guilford County. No. <laughs> We're going to get local, local. Uh-huh. Focus on the city of Raleigh because something happened major this week. Yeah. For yeah. Uh, St. Aug University yeah. here in Raleigh, North Carolina. If you have not heard, St. Aug University lost, lost its her. accreditation this week. On a post on Facebook, somebody said, What does it mean that um, St. Aug lost its accreditation? What was your reply? Oh, I said, That means y'all won. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I I, I found humor in that. Not that it should have been humorous, but that that I'm was kind of. I'm gonna keep it humor. real. I've never liked Saint Aug like that. I've never had like an issue with the school. But my freshman year at Central, one of my homies brought a chick from Shaw. I mean, from Saint Aug back to Chidley, and she burned it. And ever since then, you I thought, had a thing against saying chicks for Saint Aug. Yeah, and, and I just thought Saint Aug should lose accreditation for that. <laughs> Yeah, that coochie represented St. Aug. Tra- trauma. Early, early life trauma. Did you hear about Joel Osteen's church? No. I saw, I read it when you posted. What happened? Man, I know what I, I didn't know what was going on. I heard there was a shooting when it happened at Joel Osteen's church, and I was like, yeah, that motherfucker don't play about his donations. <laughs> Kel Mitchell on Club Shay Shay. And we all pretty much learned after this why Keenan was the more successful one between the two. Because he can't handle this shit. He can't handle this shit personally. And I'm pretty sure that translates professionally to business. She ain't gotten pregnant again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why y'all together? Yeah. yeah, And it wasn't you? Nah, with me. Ah, come (laughs) on, Kale. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. And you stuck around? Yeah, I stuck around. A man is wanted. (laughs) How? That's all that that once you finish my number one question is how. Victim told him that she bent over in the chip aisle when the man approached her from behind. She says as she reached for a bag of chips, she felt something on her on her back. She bent over to grab the chicks chips. She said she felt something wet and warm on her back. So she put her hand on the small of her back and saw it was a gooey white substance. And she turned around to see this guy looking at me. Then he zips his pants up. Bitch, you just got nutted on. (laughs) Loading the shotgun up. Getting the shotgun ready. (laughs) He's a cereal Cereal nutter. Oh. And so this happened at Whole Foods. So the semen may have been organic and free of any pesticides. Steve Harvey was a guest on Shannon Sharp's podcast. Because Shannon Sharp was so desperate to get a woman that she was in the process of going through a divorce. And Shannon Sharp stepped in and said, I'll pay for the divorce just to get it going faster so I can have you. And Steve Harvey said, I commend you for being such a trick ass nigga. You would spend money on a woman that's not yours to try and hit that pussy because it's some sip ass shit like me. Well, he didn't say it. Like, he, I'll do Steve Harvey. He's like, I heard you paid for a woman to get a divorce so you could be with her. And I think that's noble. With Kelly Rowland having a confrontation with security on the cans, yeah, yeah. red carpet. Leave Kelly Rowland having that. She yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't she know. She don't raise her voice for nothing. Yeah, I, I saw the video. You can read her lips. I didn't see any other celebrities stepping in and defend her. Haven't heard shit from Beyonce about it. 
You know, that's what really happened. The security said, so how's Beyonce doing? And Kelly snapped. <laughs> like, look, I done told y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> you don't ask me about that. Yeah, that's why she cocked her My head. cousin is not here, so don't ask me about yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't what like Kelly Rowland's look on the red carpet because of that stupid blonde wig. I ain't like that. That's why them French people were pushing her off. Like, this stupid wig. <laughs> Get the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what they say, though? Stupid weed. Stop What happened in the, uh, sen- was it the Senate last night? Yeah, Senate Between uh, Jasmine Crockett yeah. and yeah. Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah. 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 talking about, I guess I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, ain't nothing. Right. Hold, hold on, hold on. Listen. Should have never said that. Should have yeah, shut, so. shut your ass, ass the fuck up. Well, how dare you attack the physical appearance of another person? Are your Move feelings hurt? Her words down. Aww. Oh, oh, girl, baby girl. A- AOC said, How dare you attack the physical appearance of another person? As the hot Latina told Green. No. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> baby girl. Baby girl. Baby girl. If someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A uh, uh, what now? <laughs> <laughs> to which Green did agree to strike her comments about Crockett and AOC from the record. Okay, so there was a big brouhaha this week with the Breakfast Club because they had Candace Owens on. Uh, right. The one that got me was the God is God good. God is good. You yeah, don't know God. They, they... Finish this response. God is good. God is good. Amen. No, no, That's no. <laughs> Bitch, what? What? Yeah, I was like, huh? Charlamagne asking her why she married a white man if she was so concerned about the black family. People tend to marry their IQ, which is interesting. Mm. You think like if you see two black people together, oh, it's because they are two black people, but actually they, they are probably better matched based on their IQ. To be Nigga fair, probably had too much rhythm. Yeah. To, I, to, to academically stimulate To be fair, niggas don't want like, a woman like that. She didn't even know God was good all the time. So. <laughs> Those new advertisements they have for skims. Have you seen that advertising God, campaign? Yeah. Kim Kardashian owns it. So basically they got WNBA players doing a campaign and they draw us. Hey, you think pervert niggas would want them draws like, you know, Paul Pierce's headband after the game? Hey. They just show up at the fourth quarter and shit. Oh, that's, they buy tickets. You just <laughs> I hope your security good. Sure. But I'm just saying, their games are like kind of... What the fuck is... What, what are y'all trying to do over there? What is it? What is it, a moth? I wish. What is... <laughs> Found it. That's what Ooh, I was trying to hold it. <laughs> Look, it's been all over the room too. It's been all over the room. I've watched it from I've watched it. I've watched it run all around the room. I just couldn't get up. Right now, I don't wanna go live on the toilet. I need to concentrate. Play I wish my, my dad I wish my dad had my that phone. train of thought growing up. What? <laughs> like I don't wanna talk to you while I'm on the toilet. Nah, he didn't have that train of thought. Shout out to one of the realest ones. I like yo you said y'all messing up in school. So it's not that it wouldn't <laughs> be the know better than that shit. It wouldn't be the first time I see somebody on the toilet having a conversation. In Las Vegas, they have casinos, but in Atlanta, niggas go for strip clubs. Strip clubs. Two niggas decided to play Ocean's Eleven with an Onyx strip club down in Atlanta. And police are investigating a burglary at a popular strip club where two people stole hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash after they cut a hole in the building's roof. I mean, Atlanta's cool, but Atlanta's yeah, you cool. should have been in the early 2000s, late 90s. That was when Atlanta was Atlanta. Atlanta now it's just every nigga who said they were moving to Atlanta, Atlanta. finally made it. <laughs> made it to Atlanta. <laughs> they finally made it to Atlanta. Yeah. You got to do the touristy Culture. shit. You yeah, got to go to like the, the co- world of coke. We got to do it. It's the world of coke. The world of Coke. That's, that's what, in the that's bluff. What, that's what K. Now was the Coca Cola Museum is in downtown that. Atlanta. We- okay, so um, in other news, uh, Sierra and Russell Wilson had uh, a baby, and it's um, I guess their third together. Congratulations! For Congratulations! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Man. In other <laughs> topics. <laughs> <Congratulations. laughs>